On paper, Russia's Su-57 Felon looks like a beast. It's a fifth-generation stealth fighter that was built to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with America's F-22, boasting incredible maneuverability, next-gen avionics, and even the future possibility of hypersonic weapons. So why, after years on the market, has it had so much trouble finding a single buyer? While there are now strong signs of a first export deal, the order books are noticeably empty compared to its American and Chinese rivals. So what's really going on here? Let's break down the real reasons behind the Su-57's sales problems, from a rocky development and questionable stealth to the geopolitical risks that are making potential customers think twice. Probably the biggest red flag for any potential buyer came back in 2018. That's when India, one of the biggest and most reliable customers for Russian military gear, walked out of a joint program to develop the Su-57. The project was supposed to be a flagship partnership, but New Delhi pulled the plug after pouring in serious time and money, citing major issues with the jet's performance. According to multiple reports, the Indian Air Force was just not impressed with some key features. They had doubts about the reliability of its engines, the quality of its avionics, and most importantly, its stealth capabilities. For a partner as important as India to just abandon the project sent a clear message to the rest of the world. The Su-57 wasn't the game-changer Russia was advertising. Even though Moscow has reportedly tried to get New Delhi back on board, India hasn't bitten, and the damage from that messy public breakup still lingers. A big piece of the puzzle comes down to what's under the hood. The Su-57 was designed to use a brand new next-generation engine called the Isdelia 30. This engine is crucial because it would give the jet supercruise ability the power to fly at sustained supersonic speeds without chugging fuel in afterburner mode. But that engine has been hit with major delays. The result? The Su-57s being built today, including the ones meant for export, are still using the older AL-41F1 engine, basically a modified engine from a fourth-generation fighter. This isn't just a downgrade in performance. It directly affects its stealth. The older engine's design simply isn't built for a low radar signature. On top of that, defense analysts point to other design elements, like the engine intakes and general build quality, that suggest the Su-57 has a much bigger radar cross-section than jets like the F-35. This means, from some angles, it might show up on radar more like a fourth-gen jet than a true stealth fighter. For countries wanting to spend big on a real fifth-generation plane, that's a compromise many aren't willing to make. These technical headaches and partnership failures are just part of the story. If you're enjoying this breakdown, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you don't miss our future videos on military tech and geopolitics. Beyond the design issues, Russia is having a hard time just building the Su-57 in any real numbers. Since its first flight way back in 2010, the program has been bogged down by delays and a painfully slow production line. Russia had an ambitious plan to deliver 22 jets to its own air force in 2024, but it's uncertain if they came close to that target. Some reports suggest that the total number of Su-57s produced by the end of 2024 was still just a few dozen. This slow progress is being made even worse by heavy Western sanctions. Russia's ability to get high-tech Western parts, especially the microelectronics needed for advanced radars and flight systems, has been choked off. This forces their manufacturers to either use less reliable parts or try to make their own, leading to more delays and potential performance drops. For any country looking to buy, this is a huge red flag. They could wait years for their jets, only to get a plane with critical parts that might be second-rate or impossible to replace. After years of failing to find a buyer, it looks like Russia may have finally landed its first customer. Since late 2024, multiple reports have stated that Algeria is the launch customer for the Su-57. Algerian state media has even confirmed the purchase and reported that their pilots are already training in Russia. However, the deal is surrounded by a lot of secrecy, and neither Russian nor Algerian authorities have officially confirmed the sale, the number of aircraft, or the delivery timeline. While Russian officials have said they expect the first export deliveries to begin by the end of 2025, there's a lot of skepticism about whether they can actually meet that deadline, given the slow production and ongoing sanctions. So, while it's a much-needed vote of confidence for the program, 
This single unconfirmed sale doesn't solve the fundamental problems that have scared off other nations.